Hello viewers, welcome back to Biosign Flash Channel. Today is another lesson, and today we are continuing the study of amino acids and uh, protein. Alright, so our last video we talked about the basic structure of amino acids, we talked about the properties and their characteristics from the side things or the algae. So for today we are going to talk about the classification of amino acids. Alright, so today we are going to talk about the classification of amino acids. So we say amino acids are the basic structure of protein. Okay, so before we can get protein, there is supposed to be two or more amino acids that form a peptide bond in order to form protein. Okay, so there are 20 of amino acids that are found in protein with a carboxyl group and an amino group bonding to the alpha carbon. So there are 20 basic amino acids that form protein, okay? And we have the carboxyl group and an amino group that is bonded to the alpha carbon. Okay, so these proteins define their side chains or the R group, which varies in structure, size, charge, and determines its solubility in water, all right? So amino acids, can be classified under various groups. So these groups can be classified into five groups that is based on their reactivity of the R group. Okay. They can also be grouped under metabolically on their catabolic products. They can also be classified whether they are essential or non essential amino acids. And also, they can be classified on the extra functional group that is available. Okay, so these are the basic classification of amino acids. So let's go forward to talk about whether it's essential or non essential. Okay, so we have plants and bacteria that are capable of synthesizing all the 20 amino acids. Alright, so most animals are much more restricted in the ability to synthesize amino acids de novo, all right? So because they lack these requirements, they cannot synthesize them in the body, all right? So they are referred to as non-essential amino acids. So based on the principles of nutritional biochemistry, it's determined that humans require 10 of the amino acids in their diet in order to survive. These amino acids are called essential amino acids, right? So they are required for the body to survive. Whereas on the other hand, we have other 10 amino acids which humans can synthesize on their own. And because they can synthesize on their own, they are called non-essential amino acids because it is not required for the body to, you know, undergo certain activities. But for the essential, they are required for the body to survive. So without those amino acids, the body cannot survive. So these are the classifications under essential and non-essential amino acids. Okay, so classification of amino acids that is based on the reactivity of the R group. We have aliphatic that's amine polar. We also have glycine, alanine, and they are all under aliphatic amine We also have aromatic. We have polar on charge. That is neutral. So under that, you can have serum, threonine, and the above mentioned. All right. We also have polar and acidic. So they are negatively charged, and we have aspartic and glutamic. And also we have polar basic that is positively charged. For that, we have lysine, arginine, and histidine. 